Hello, I'm Mayor Bill Carpenter. Over the next few months, my office will be producing a series of ESL classes that specialize in helping Brockton residents acquire English skills to increase employment opportunities. This class is called English for Employment. This represents an unprecedented partnership between the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, CareerWorks, the Brockton Public Schools, Brockton Community Access, and the Mayor's Office. We hope you find this series useful as we continue our mission to bring vital services to the residents of the City of Brockton. Today, um, today's lesson is going to be a thank you note. What have we done so far? Well, let's see. So far we have filled out an application. We have talked about job interviews. We've talked about what kinds of questions they might ask at an interview. We have watched people interview for jobs and we've made decisions about mm, this, is one, this, this is a good thing to do at an interview, this is not such a good thing to do at an interview. We all remember Trudy, right? <laughs> uh, what are good questions to ask at an interview? What's one good question to ask an interviewer at an interview? Who can give me an example of a good question when the interviewer says, do you have any questions for me? When, when would I start? Yeah. Can you tell me about the duties? Yeah. If I get the job, when would I start? Those are good, reasonable questions. Can you think of any others? What would my responsibilities be? Sure. Is there a possibility to advance? Is there an opportunity to, ad yeah, to advance in my career? Sometimes people take what they call an entry level job because there's a possibility that after you've been there for a little while, you can go up the ladder and, and get a higher and a higher position. Sure, those are great questions. What are, what's an example of a question you should not ask? At a first interview, everybody's smiling. <laughs> Don't ask about money. How much are you going to pay me? Right. And that's what everybody wants to know. That's the question. That's the best question, right? <laughs> that's what we all want to know. But in the first interview, we should not ask about money. When is, when is an appropriate time to ask about money? Since that's what we really want to know. But... Culturally, it's not good to ask that question in the first interview. When is the appropriate time? If you, if you really don't know what the salary is, when is the appropriate time to ask that question? In the se second interview? No. Well, after they have offered you the position. After they've offered you the position, if they call you back and they say, we'd like to offer you the job, and usually they'll tell you at that point. You might not, you probably won't have to ask. They'll have you come in for an orientation and they'll, they'll explain everything. But if they do not, if for some reason they don't mention money, at that point it's perfectly fine to say, could you tell me about the salary? Could you tell me how much um, is the rate? Uh, but in the first interview, it's never appropriate to ask about salary. Uh, what else is not a good, a good thing? Benefits, not in the first interview. Vacation, right. Do I get vacation? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. How many breaks do I get? No. Right. <laughs> right, so those are not good things to ask in an interview. So we've watched people interview. Did everyone work on their interview, their individual interview practice sheets this week? Good, because next week, next week we're going to interview each other. We're going to <laughs> choose a job that we want and we're going to actually go through an interview process. So I want everybody to really feel prepared because that's what you're going to do when you have an interview scheduled, right Claire? Yes. <laughs> the night before, because 
Everybody's nervous in an interview. You told me they've always interview, uh, always uh, nervous in an interview, but the more prepared you are, the less nervous you're going to be. So the night before or the day before your interview, it's great to practice and kind of anticipate what kind of questions are they going to ask me and how will I answer them. So that's what we're going to do next week. And those sheets that you filled out for homework, um, that's, they're going to become very important next week. So if you didn't work on those this week, please have those completely filled out for next week so you're well prepared to answer the questions without <laughs> thinking, without going, um, um, <laughs> we don't want to do that in an interview. All right, so there is one thing um, that we did not see in the, the videos that we're going to cover today uh, that is on your interview sheet that at the end of an interview, there's something that you should always do that we didn't see on the, um, on the videos. But what should you always do before, right before you leave? Right before you leave the interview. You stand up, remember, shake hands. Thank you for your time. I appreciate your taking the time to interview me. I hope to see you soon. May I have your business card? May I have your business card? Why? What are you going to do with that business card? You could call, maybe in a couple of weeks, call back and see what's going on. You know, have you filled the position yet? Um, I, I interviewed a couple of weeks ago. I, um, I was wondering if you have filled that position yet. But something even more immediate. Yes. To, write. to send a thank you note. Exactly. You're going to send a thank you note. When? Immediately. Immediately. Immediately after the interview, when you get home, the same day if possible. Now, students in my past classes have asked me, well, why? If they didn't offer me the job, why should I say thank you? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, right? Why should I say thank you if they didn't give me the job? <laughs> why don't I wait until they give me the job and then say thank you? What, do you have any ideas about that? It's polite. It's polite. Culturally appropriate. And you, 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 you can another time if you are there to say something. Yes, Philomena. It can help you to. It can help you to 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 have to get the job. It can help you to get the job. It's like getting your, as Philomena said. It's like another application. Your name is in front of that person one more time before the decision is made. Think about when you have done something for somebody and they send you a thank you note. Mm -hmm. You can do it by email or? No, not by email. Maybe. Not by email. A thank you note should not go by email. People do it, but usually people who work in large companies get so many emails during the day that they get there in the morning and they look at the list. And if they don't see, a if they see something that's not familiar, maybe they just go delete, 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 delete. They look for things that are familiar. And if it looks like it might be an advertisement or something that might be, contain a virus that they don't recognize, they might not even open it. Or it might get, read how many of you, <laughs> I sent you emails on Monday, how many of you looked at those emails? Ah, there's my point. <laughs> only some of you. I guess I sent you your, your resumes. And only some of you got those resumes. Some people never even look at their emails. So the thank you note should always go in the mail, regular mail with a postage stamp on it. So when you, when you get home, um, when you get a thank you note, maybe you do something nice, you help somebody move. Or you, something nice happened. You do something nice. And then two days later, you open up your mailbox and there's a very nice thank you note. What do you think about that person who sent you the note? That person's so nice. Oh, it makes you happy, doesn't it? You have a good feeling about that person. So what do you think an employer is going to think about you when he or she opens that envelope and sees Thank you for taking the time to interview me. 
I am very interested in this position and I hope to hear from you. It makes a very good impression. And remember, impression, your, your, your goal here is to make a good impression. <laughs> um, I've had three or four students who have gone through this class who have gotten jobs and have come, and come back to talk to me and have said when they went in to accept the position that the employer has said to them, you know, you're the only one who sent me a thank you note. So employers notice. Employers notice. Not everybody sends a thank you note. Not every applicant thinks about that. Not every applicant does it. So if you do, you set yourself apart from all those other people who don't. Exactly. You're the exception. And you've done something that is very, very polite. Um, and it sets you apart from the other applicants. So for so today's lesson, we're going to send, we're going to write a thank you note. And we're going to save it on the USB. Let's read together. Good confidence. Good final consonant sounds in our pronunciation. Here we go. Ready? Follow-up thank you note. Follow-up thank you note. Good. After a job interview. After a job interview. You should write a thank you note immediately. You should write a thank you note immediately. A thank you note will show the interviewer. A thank you note will show the interviewer that you are really interested in the job. That you are really interested in the job. It is also courteous and professional. It is also courteous and professional. To thank the interviewer for the time he or she took to interview you. So that answers the question, why should I write a thank you note if I don't have the job yet? Right? It's really not thanking them for the job. It's telling them once again that you're really interested in the job and thanking him or her for the time that they took to interview you. It may or may not get you the job, but it shows that you are professional and courteous. And it, it, there's nothing to lose by sending this thank you note. Just a stamp, that's all. <laughs> all right, first bullet. A thank you note should be typed. A thank you note should be typed. Some people handwrite them. Some people do buy cards, professional looking cards in stores and handwrite them. Uh, but unless you have really, really neat handwriting, <laughs> I would recommend typing it. Second bullet. A thank you note should be written to the interviewer. Now notice it also has an S there, or interviewers. Sometimes you'll have more than one interviewer. Sometimes you'll have two or three people in the interview. So what do you do in that situation? That's correct, Junior. And you'll not you you write one to each interviewer. Ask each one for a business card. Because you don't know who's going to be making the decision. Or they may be making that decision as a group. So you don't want to write just to one. You would write to each one. Um, so be sure that you get a business card from each one. What happens if I get nervous and forget to ask for a business card? What can I do? Oh, I just came out of my interview. <gasps> I forgot to ask for a business card and I have to write my thank you note. What can I do? I could, but there's a better way. I could write to the staff manager. But you're going to make a better impression if you write to the person who interviewed you. Okay. What could I do with the phone, Philomena? Um, uh, you're on the right track. How could I find out after the fact who? Ask. Okay, so I could, yeah, who would I ask? The receptionist. Sure. 
Sure. If, I, if I'm still in the vicinity, if I've gone out of the office, and if I'm, for example, if I'm, I always use CNA as an example because I have so many students who are CNAs. So I might go into the reception area and I would say, oh, I just had an interview um, for a CNA position. And I would like to send a thank you note to the person who interviewed me, but I don't remember her name or I don't remember his name. Could you give me the name and address so I can send a thank you note? And they would be happy to do that. Don't, don't be embarrassed to ask those questions. If you get home and you remember it then, call and say the same thing. I had an interview this afternoon. I would like to send a thank you note to the person who interviewed me. Could you please give me that person's name and address? And we'll be talking about, um, in the last session, in a couple weeks from now, we're going to practice making telephone calls and speaking clearly and making sure we understand spellings of names and clarifying pronunciation, because telephones are tough <laughs> in English. Telephones are tough, uh, especially cell phones, in your own language. Even more difficult when you're trying to navigate the telephone in a second language. Believe me, I know. So um, we'll talk about that too. But So if you do forget to ask for a business card, don't panic. You can ask the receptionist um, and, and explain to them why. Just say, you know, I had an interview. I would like to send a thank you note. And people will say, wow, that's classy. So don't be embarrassed to ask. <laughs> so the thank you note should be written to the interviewer. Let's, do, let's say that again. A thank you note should be written to the interviewers. You need to know the interviewers' first and last names. And you need to spell them correctly. Ask for the interviewer's business card at the end of the interview. And we are going to practice doing that next week when we practice interviews. We'll actually be standing up, shaking hands, and asking for a business card. And your interviewer will give you his or her business card after the interview. <laughs> All right, here is an example. On the side, you notice it tells you what to write. And let's just read it. Um, you're going to write your street, your city, state, and zip code, just like we did in the cover letter. Your information is going to go at the top. Notice it is written in business letter format. Business letter format. So everything is what they call left justified. Everything's over on the left hand side. Now in my English class over at the Adult Learning Center when I teach handwritten compositions we say indent. When you're typing on the computer in business format we don't indent. We put everything justified to the left. It's a business style. And we use a colon instead of a comma in the greeting. But everything else is the same. We have the date. The inside address includes the interviewer's name, the interviewer's job title, the company name, address, city, state, and zip, just like the cover letter. Same thing. So when we put this on your USB, we're going to use what you have on your practice letter and when you get an actual business card you're going to delete that part and type in the name of the person who interviewed you and their business and their company name. So you, you'll have the format all set. All you have to do is substitute the information. All right, let's read the letter beginning with the greeting where it says, Dear Mr. Phillips. Let's see what the thank you letter says. Dear Mr. Phillips. Dear Mr. Phillips. I would like to thank you for taking the time to speak with me on Monday, April 25, about the cook's position. I am very interested in working at the Home Menu Cafe. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to hearing from you soon. And the, the closing is the same as it was with your cover letter. Sincerely. And you're going to hit that space bar four times and type your name. Now this one, you're definitely going to hit the space bar four times and type your name and print it out. Because this one you're not going to send electronically. 
This one you're going to send in the mail. You're going to print it out, put it in an envelope, and send it through the mail. This one is not like the cover letter. You're not going to send this one through the computer. So make sure you space four times, sign it in between, put it in an envelope, and send it through the mail. Okay. Notice the things in the bold print, Monday, April 25. So you're going to include the date when you had your interview. If it's the same day, you could say, thank you for taking the time to speak with me this morning, if it's the same day, because you have the date up here. About the cook's position, you're going to mention the position that you want, because it might be a place that has multiple positions open, and then you want to remind them about the position that you want. If they have 25 positions open, I know um, I had a student who got a job at Mass General. If you go on the Mass General Hospital employment site, they have pages and pages and pages of positions open. Everything from doctors to, you know, ambulance drivers. So you want to be sure that you include the, the title of the position that you want. And then finally, the name of the business. When you apply for, when you write your thank you note, make sure that you substitute, that you change these every time. <laughs> so you don't send the thank you note to Mass General Hospital that says, I'm looking forward to working at the home menu cafe. <laughs> that could be a little embarrassing. <laughs> so always proofread and make sure that your letter is going to the right person. Okay? Questions so far? So far so good? All right, let's practice. Let's read the instructions. Let's read the instructions together, then I'll let you get busy. Good pronunciation, good final consonant sounds, good vowel sounds, good confidence. Ready. Now, write your own thank you note. Now, write your own thank you note. To Robert Smith. To Robert Smith. He is the Human Resources Director. He is the Human Resources Director. At Smith Enterprises. His address, His address is 211 Crescent Street, is 211 Crescent Street Brockton, Massachusetts, Brockton, Massachusetts, 02301. Do you notice everybody's address is 211 Crescent Street? That's the adult learning center. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> You had an interview with him this morning. Choose any position you are interested in. All right, please follow the instructions and write a thank you note to Robert Smith. 